Hey kids, it's Sunshine. Welcome back to another fun haul video. For those of you that don't know, I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, and I like to pick up weird and different items to try and resell online, flip for a profit. So the first store I went to was my honey hole, my favorite place to go. So everything that I'm gonna show you cost me around $36. I'm not sure of the exact price for each piece because they don't break it down that way. But they were having a sale, so I did get in on some of those items. This first item wasn't one of them, but that's okay. <laughs> so the first item I picked up was a Talbot's. Size 22. And it, it, it reminded me, in fact, when I first saw it, I thought it was flax, but it wasn't. It was Talbot's. So it is a linen maxi skirt. Kind of like a lime green color. It does have side pockets. And the waist is a zip button on the side, but has elastic in the back. And it's got some pleating for shape. In excellent condition. Let me see if I can hold this upright. See the pretty pleating? So I think I will probably be listing this maybe between 40 and 50 and see what it'll bring. And then the next item I got there, I bought some purses, don't ask me why. I think because this is fossil and I hear other resellers say they've been doing well with it. So I thought I would try it out. And it is a vinyl crossbody or, you know, convertible shoulder bag has this pretty print on it that I thought was hand-painted leather, but it's actually vinyl. And it's in really good condition. And I don't know, I've never sold a fossil bag, so I don't know the uh, comps for it. It says on it, Keeper, K-E-Y-P-E-R, so I don't know. Inside's in really good condition. But I think I only paid $3 for this, so I'm sure I'll get my money back on that. And then I saw this little cutie in the back and had to have it, even though it's not leather. Oh, here's the receipt. Oh, I actually only paid $32.50 for these pieces. Okay. So I thought it was leather, but it's not. Well, if it is, let me see. Man, I'm telling you, it smells like leather, but it's not marked anywhere. So it has all this cool fringe on it. It also can be carried shoulder as a shoulder bag or cross body. And it's in excellent condition. Has a magnetic snap, magnetic snap closure. Oh, there is a tag in it. Yeah, see, it says man-made material. But I'm telling you, I have a good nose and it smells like leather. So I don't know, have to do some more research, but just thought somebody might want that so cute. And I only paid $2 for it, so I'm sure I'll at least get that back. Okay, then some more items I got. Why is this skirt in with what smells like leather? Pity now. Okay, let's move into this bag. So I found some jeans, and the first brand is... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the first brand is, yeah, I don't know. High rise, straight leg, oh, here we go. Jag jeans. I have never heard of Jag jeans. I've heard of Jag swimwear. So I picked them up because I wanted to try them out and they are just an elastic waist. Are these, po yep, they got pockets. So they got front pockets and they got back pockets. And they're in a light wash. Looks like a straight leg and they're in really good condition, so. It kind of intrigued me, the Jag jeans, and I wanted to pick them up and give them a try, but since I only paid a dollar for these, I can do that. So probably $20 unless comps say otherwise. And then I found some more jeans. <laughs> these I've never heard of either. When I lived in Cali, Smith's was a grocery store. So these are, these may be grocery store jeans, I don't know. So they're Smith's, size 22W. And yeah, they're just your basic medium wash. Oh, actually these are capris. 
So they have some embroidery on the back, good condition, capri length. And like I said, I wanted to do some research on them and for a dollar I can afford to do that. But like I said, I thought Smith's was a grocery store. I mean, that's the only Smith's I know. Okay, and then I found, I swore I wouldn't pick up any more denim shirts. What is wrong with me? Stop picking up denim shirts. But, look, I had to. And I paid full price for these. Just look. Ugh, so gorgeous. So they are hand-painted, glittered up, embellished, Coco Pellies on a short sleeve denim button front shirt. And it's by the brand YNOT Sportswear, never heard of them. So I actually paid $6 for this, like I said, but I could not leave something like that behind. I mean, it's too bad they won't fit me. What size did I say they were? Yeah, they're small. It's like, no way, Jose, but I couldn't resist. I could not leave that behind. Then right next to it, I found a passion, size small. Oh, God, I just love these. It's too bad they won't fit me. So this one is embroidered. And I'm assuming those are Coco Pelli, too. Well, maybe not Coco Pelli. Maybe tribal dancers. I don't know, but it's short sleeve button front as well. And it is just amazing work. I mean, I'm just blown away. Whoever created those. So cool. So then I found some shoes. Wouldn't be the same without some shoes. I've been seeing Crocs. Now, I've never worn Crocs. I know people love Crocs. To me, they're weird looking. But the thrift stores mark them up, and I'm thinking, how can you resell something like that? That's probably what you'd pay for them new. But I found a couple new pairs that I think she charged me $2 for these. So these are Crocs, and I don't know what size they are. I should have my glasses on. Oh, there they, there we go. So one says six and one says eight. Oh, oh they're men or women's. So it's a men's size six or a women's size eight. Ooh, how cool. You can tell they were never worn, and they are cool flip-flops with the nubby soles, insoles, and like I said, they're in never-worn condition. So I don't know what those are going for, but let me put them on my feet and see what these nubbies feel like. Oh, the nubbies are actually pretty comfortable. Now, they're too small for my feet, but now I can see maybe why people like them. But what I really enjoyed, look at these babies. I love the design on these. So these are also Crocs um, in a size women's nine. You can tell they've never been worn. And most Crocs I see are, you know, single colors. But this paint or coloring on this is just so amazing. So yeah, I don't know what those are worth, like I said, because I've never sold Crocs before. But I think that second pair she charged me $4 for, I couldn't leave it behind. It was something I need to try out and see how well they do. In fact, that um, those clogs may fit me. I'll have to try them on. Okay, let me get these bags out of the way so we can move on. Then we're going to move on to... Goodwill, so let's see. At Goodwill, I got donuts. <laughs> That's my lunch. So it looks like I only got, wow, I only got two items. One, two, three items. That is crazy. So I paid $9 for three items, so we're gonna say $3 each, because it was senior day. I never knew, and I go to this Goodwill every week, I never knew they had a hat section where they do. So I pull up and I'm sitting outside in my car looking in their windows and I'm like, they have a hat rack. I mean a whole hat rack right there. How could I miss that? Because I very rarely go down that first aisle. So I thought, let me go check out that hat rack. Hat rack. 
So they had hats on it. They had buried hats. And look what I found underneath it. I found a brand new ping. Under Armour. So it's a collab. Golf hat. They have a $4.99 tag on it. But with my discount, it was like... Oh, actually, with my discount, it, okay, so we'll say I paid $4.50 for this. But it is brand new, and it's a large, extra large. So, like I said, Ping is a supposedly good golf club brand, and I'm hoping this will bring at least $25. But I'm so happy I found that hat rack. Like, where have I been? So observant. Okay, the next piece I found there, this feels like linen. And it is, well, I can't read that, but it's a, oh, it's time and true. So it's a size 22, time and true, linen, sleeveless, button front, plaid top, that hopefully, this does not look like a size 22. Well, maybe it is. Okay, so hopefully I'll get 20, 25 for that. Really like the colors. And I love my linen. Feels like jeans. So I also got a pair of cut from the cloth, size 22. I wonder if it's the same person. Catherine Boyfriend Crop Jeans. And they are lightweight. But what drew me to them originally, you can see they're pretty length. What drew me to them originally is they have button flap embroidered back pockets. So I thought that was a cool detail. And I guess they're trying to be like true religion and they have the button coin pocket. So I don't know what those are going for. Hopefully at least $25. So let's see where else I went. Ooh, I know where this is. Okay, so the next items are from a small thrift store as everything falls out. In fact, I could have four bags of this. Hang on, my husband just got home. Ooh, it is hot outside. It's almost 100 degrees already. Okay, so then I went to a small thrift store and I got nine items for $38. So that averages out to be like $4 and something each. And it looks like I got some more linen. So the first item I got was a Time and True size extra large. And this is similar to the shirt I have. So it's just a tank top. It's got the double V neckline, striped. And does it have vents? Nope. It's just lightweight linen. So hopefully I'll get 20, 25 for that. And then I found a dress, which I may end up keeping. So this is by Ocean Breeze, one size. No use trying to show that tag, you're not gonna be able to see it. So it's just a lightweight gauzy embroidered graphic dress. And it's got the hanky hem, really pretty and lightweight, stuff I love to wear around the house in the summer can be used as a swim cover up as well, or you could even put something underneath it and wear it out as a dress. Really versatile piece, perfect for the summer out here. Then it looks like I've been looking at this for weeks, but I wasn't gonna pay the full price for it, which was $6. So when it was 50% off, which was when I got it, I picked it up. So it's a woman within, and I've sold this before, size 2X. It's a heavyweight waffle thermal, but it has the Henley snap neckline. Is that snaps or buttons? Button neckline. And then the embroidery in this pretty lilac color. It's in a great size. Now the one I had was new with tags. It sold for 30, so I'm hoping this one will go for at least 25, but it probably won't sell until fall, maybe winter. This feels like linen also, so never heard of this brand. It's Briggs, in a size extra large. So it's elastic waist, lightweight linen shorts, 
It has the side pockets with some embroidery. It's got the back pockets. And it looks like it has hem vents. If the inseam was a little bit longer, I'd probably be keeping these for myself. But I'll try listing those for 20, see what they bring. And then I did get some boots for myself. This is a store. I can't believe they, they got in two pairs of Hoka's and I was like so excited. Then I look at the price. They wanted $65 each for those pairs of Hoka's. Like, what are you thinking? You could buy them for that on eBay. So these are brand new Mucklucks and they'll come in handy this winter. This is what I wear. Perfect for indoor outdoor use. And for four bucks, yep, I couldn't pass them up. Okay, then I got <coughs> some more stuff, it looks like. Some tie dye. Okay, so this is a, never heard of it, balance collection in a size 3X, but I picked it up. I can't show you the tag on it either. You won't be able to see it. It's this pretty blue and black tie-dye tank top, lightweight, plus size, perfect for summer. And hopefully I'll get at least 20 for that. So the first item isn't exactly jeans, but they're new with tags. So they are Carhartt in a size 4032. Some kind of utility pants, green utility pants. Where's this cargo now? So I have to look up the style. What's it say? Okay, rugged work khaki. Although these aren't khaki colored. So brand new, I don't know, probably at least $25 for those. And they're in a good size. So then I got, it looks like some shorts. I had good luck selling the other pair I got, so I wanted to try them again. See, these are Vigos, uh, the Chelsea shorts in a size 31. And they are just your basic shorts, but they have all that cool embroidery on the pockets and all this cool embroidery on the back. These are well made, really heavy, well made shorts. So, hopefully, at least $25 for those. And then the last item I got there, it's purple. And it's Nike Thermal Fit in a size medium. I should, should say Thermo Fit. But I got it because it's purple, it's a hoodie. A pullover hoodie and it has this cool embroidered swoosh on the front I have never seen anything like that from Nike so hopefully you know it'll bring at least $25 but I'll have to look at the comps and see I just thought it was different and unique from what I usually see in Nike hoodies then I went to a small thrift store that I only get to like once a month and they had shoes for two dollars and i got a pair that were new in the box well not new in the box but they were still in the box let me rephrase that so these are and i've never sold these before so i don't know how well they're going to do but they are brooks and they are a size probably be easier for me to look on the box so they're a size 11 they're the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 16. And they're in pretty good condition. I mean, you got a little bit of, you know, sole discoloration, but other than that, they're in really good condition. Hopefully, I mean, I know they'll bring more than $2. But hopefully, you know, they'll be like worth a lot of money. I don't know, I haven't done any research yet. But I'm hoping for at least 40. And then also there, they were having a close 
sale. So I got clothes for a dollar. And the first item I got was a pair of jeans. And they are Lucky Brand 221 Original Straight Jeans. In a medium wash, in good condition. They have some whiskering up here. Hopefully this uh, style is desirable. I don't know, I don't sell enough Lucky Brand to know. But I know for a dollar I'm gonna pick them up and try them out. <clears throat> and then I also got, this looks like a two-piece outfit. No? No. What is this? Can't remember what I bought, but it's new with tags. Sue John, never heard of it. In a size medium. Here's what the tag looks like. Have no clue. But I must have picked these up because they were new with tags. And they're a linen blend. So, actually this is a skirt. Oh my God. Why did I think these were pants? So, skirt has side pockets, elastic waist, in green. And is it lined? It's awful heavy to be linen. Yeah, it's lined. Okay. So, like I said, it's new with tags and it's a linen blend. And it's a maxi. So, hopefully at least 25 for that. I have no clue who that brand is. I'm thinking it's probably from overseas somewhere. And then I better not say what this is because I got the last one wrong. Oh, this looks like another skirt. Oh, so I have another one. Looks like they're medium petite. So this one's in blue. This one looks a little bit shorter. It might be a midi. But I don't know. I want you to try them out and for a dollar that makes me able to do that. And then I know this is linen. So this is just, oh, it's Beach Lunch Lounge. I can't show you that tag either. It's all crinkled. Beach Lunch Lounge in a size 1X. So it's got elastic around the neck. Looks like cap sleeves. And it's striped and it smells like friggin' laundry detergent. <clears throat> so hopefully, I don't know, $20 for that. I, haven't, I don't think I have ever sold Beach Lunch Lounge, but I know some resellers have good luck with it. So hopefully I will too, but we'll just have to see. Okay, then it looks like I went to another Goodwill. Hmm. Yep, there's the tag. Okay, so at this Goodwill, only about two pieces. Hmm. Paid almost $8, so we'll say they're $4 each. And I can already tell the first item's linen. This was a linen day, obviously. So this is soft surroundings in a size small. And it is a linen short-sleeved cold shoulder top. And it's got the exposed back zipper. This is a really cute design. Oh, it's got pockets. Oh, how nice. Love it. Looks like it's never been worn. So I'll probably list that around 20. See what it brings. I lost my bag. No, I didn't. It's right here. Okay, so this is the other big, huge piece. This looks like sleepwear. Yep, Vanity Fair in a size large. And it is a flannel nightgown. Oh, it's new with tags. That's why I picked it up. So the Kohl's price on it was $20 on clearance. And like I said, it still has all the tags on it, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. But it has the Mandarin collar. And how far down does it zip? That's oh, a full zip, no. Almost full zip. And then in the front, it has this opening. So really cozy, perfect for the winter, sitting around the fire. 
And yeah, I'll probably sit on that until winter, but that's okay. So hopefully, hopefully at least 2025 for that. Then I went to the Salvation Army. Where do you see this huge bag? Okay, so then I went to the Salvation Army and I spent $57.88 on 18 items. So I think that's around $4, 450 each. I don't know, I don't have my calculator with me. So first item I picked up was new with tags, Wrangler men's shorts, in a size 52, good size. Light wash. And hopefully there's a hefty guy out there that needs some shorts. And hopefully those will bring at least 25. I'm gonna try to put these back in the bag the way they had them, but I don't know, there's so many items. I probably won't be able to fit them in there. So then I found some more uh, men's shorts. Also new attacks. So these are St. John's Bay Performance Comfort Stretch. And a size 36. And they are this pretty blue color, gorgeous. Cargo shorts. So they have all the pockets all over them. I needed some men's shorts for my closet. And what's funny is I ordered a men's rescue box, another one. So I'm gonna have Buku men's pieces, but they may not have shorts in them. So I wanted to be sure my closet would be stocked. And hopefully I'll get at least $25 for those. And then these look like swim trunks. So these are Despicable Me. And it's all taped together, so I can't tell what size they are. No, oh, size medium. Okay. Despicable Me, size medium, men's swim trunks. They have the minions on surfboards. How cute are those? In really good condition. So hopefully at least $20 for those. I just thought those minions were so cute with their surfboards. Okay, and then right next to them, I found some MTV ones. And I wonder what the brand is. These are ASOS, okay. So these are ASOS in a size medium. I'm assuming it's the same donor. You guys know what ASOS looks like. But these are so cool. They are MTV swim trunks. Hopefully these aren't kids. They look awful small. So they have the neon MTV all over them. And hopefully those will bring at least 20 as well, unless they're kids, which like I said, they look kind of small. I found Rock Revival. Yes, I did. I haven't found these since I found it at the little thrift store a while back. Okay, so these are Rock Revival 33s. They're called the Rocky Straight. I love, love, love these jeans because they're heavy duty, well made, lightweight, and they have the back flap bling pockets all that embroidery and all that bling got some top stitching they have the gems oh yeah the whole nine so i don't know what these are going for but i know i should be able to get at least 30 out of those maybe more guys i'll have to watch my profit picks video to see if any of this sells and what it sells for looks like i got a bathing suit I wonder if this has a brand. I've been real careful about picking up swimwear unless I can find the size and the brand. Okay, so these are new, this one's new with tags. Shape Maker, the Ultimate Fit by Catalina. Catalina's no biggie, but that diffusion, the Ultimate Fit line may make it more desirable. But it is just so pretty. All the colors in this are so pretty. So it's just a one piece has non-adjustable straps and it still has, nope, doesn't have the liner in place, which is scary. Has a built-in bra, size is this. Can't find the size on it. Oh, size eight. 
Okay, so it's a size eight. See the metallic foil? Really pretty. This is probably not going to fit Twiggy, my mannequin. I mean, it should, but bathing suits run small. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get that on her. Maybe I'll be able to find a stock photo. Okay, looks like I picked up a tank top by a no, man, no name brand mine, size large. But I picked it up because I need some summer items in my store. And it has all this pretty embroidery on the front. It's lightweight gauzy. Then you turn it over. It's got crochet on the back with some lattice. Looks like a high-low hem. So I don't know, hopefully 15 to 17 for that. Looks like I got some more shorts. Oh. So I'm bebopping around there, and on the end cap, somebody had hung three pairs of these. I only ended up picking up two of them because one had a stain and I'm not into that, or I wasn't into that when I was shopping. So I found two pairs of Vineyard Vines shorts, and I think they're both 32s. So the first pair is pink. It, I thought it was Lily Pulitzer when I first saw it. I was hoping, but no. The Vineyard Vines is cool too. And it's in a good size of 32. So we have a pink pair. Then we have like a green pair. Let me make sure they're the same size. Yep. So I'll probably end up blotting these together and maybe get $30 for the pair. The other pair was kind of pink as well. Okay, then it looks like I got another tank top that's new with tags. I have heard of this brand, but I don't remember where it's sold at. So it's Patrons of Peace. You guys ever heard of that brand? And it is a size, everything's wrapped around, size small. So it is a cami tank. I can't get the tag unwrapped. All righty. Okay, there we go. So cute. It's got the little strappy detail around the neck. It's actually got adjustable spaghetti straps and an elastic empire waist. Pretty floral print. Got the smocked back. So, I don't know. I've got to look up that brand, but I'm hoping for at least 15. Then I found some tie-dye. Perfect for the upcoming 4th of July. First one is a Fruit of the Loom Heavy Cotton Size Large. Patriotic Red, White, and Blue Flag Print. Perfect for the upcoming holiday. They did a really good tie-dye and graphic on that. Yeah, so hopefully at least 20 for that. Maybe as high as 25 since we're coming up on 4th of July. Then I found another one. This one's color tone in a size 2X. Pretty spiral tie-dye. It's got purple, yellow, looks like pink or red. And hopefully at least 20 for that if I don't end up giving it to my husband. And then this looks like a flannel. Who is it by? Ooh, Woolrich. I found some Woolrich. Okay, so it's Woolrich size large flannel. This is definitely a woman's. So it's a plaid button front flannel. It's not really heavyweight. It's kind of like medium weight, but it's got some purple in it and black. So hopefully I'll get 20, 25 from that. And then I found a purse. Jeez, I, I don't know why I keep doing this. Oh, I'm... Oh, I actually found a hard good. We'll save that for last. Okay, so I saw this cute little denim bag. Who doesn't love a jean purse? Something straight out of the 70s we used to carry. So it can be carried by your shoulder across body, and it's just a denim medium-sized bag with a zip top. Good condition. It's got a pocket in there. Will it fit your phone? Yep. So cool. This takes me back, I'm telling you, to the 70s. Best decade ever. So hopefully that'll bring at least 20, maybe 25. I'll have to look up comps. 
Better move that before I break it. Okay. Then I found a Knox Rose size medium. I think that's just a Target brand. But it is this pretty olive green. It's got the crochet lace v-neck down the front. Kind of like a little peplum hem. Lightweight burnout material. It's got the elastic, probably three, four sleeves with elastic cuffs. Semi sheer. More lace on the back, so I don't know, 17 to 20 for that. Looks like I got some jeans. I picked up a bunch of winter items. I don't know what I was thinking. Probably because they were so inexpensive. So, yeah, that's nice. These are Wranglers. Thank God for the patch on the back. So, these are Wrangler. And I have no clue what size they are, and I can't see right now, but they are medium wash. They look like high rise jeans. In fact, I'd be surprised if these were ever worn by the way they feel. And I think I thought these were men's when I picked them up, but they kind of look like women's. And like I said, I can't see the size, but I'd be surprised if these were ever worn. And Wranglers are a Walmart brand. My husband swears by them, loves them. That's why I thought these were men's and I was excited to get them because there's probably other men out there that feel the same way. So I don't know, hopefully at least $20. Then I found these. These are Lauren Ralph Lauren, size eight. Are these linen blend? No, they're 100% cotton. Hmm. So they are plaid capris, lightweight, so cute. They have the little vents on the hems. These are comparable to linen, in my opinion. It's how lightweight they are. And they're in really good condition. Have five pockets. So hopefully at least $20 for those. Then I got another flannel. This is probably L.L. Bean. That's what it feels like. Yep. Okay, it's L.L. Bean Relaxed Fit Size Medium. I do really well with their flannels. So it's a brushed fleece button front flannel plaid. They rolled up the sleeves, which I think are kind of cute. I'll probably take pictures of it that way. And I usually get around $30 for my used flannels from L.L. Bean. But they usually have purple in them. So I don't know about this one. And they're usually a bigger size. But I'm hoping for at least $25. Okay, save the best for last. Oh, look, this came off of something. Great. I have to figure out what that came off of. I never find anything at the hard goods there. And when I do, they're outrageous. I happen to see this horsey mug. Isn't that adorable? With the rainbow and was surprised that it's Lisa Frank. And it's in excellent condition. And the only one he $2.99 for it. Look at the purple inside. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I think this is, what does it say? Rainbow Chaser and Lollipop. Oh, they've got the names. And I think this is the newer Lisa Frank signature. I can't remember, but this is so adorable. I will keep and display this if I can't get a lot of money for it, because it's so cute. So I haven't run any comps, but I know Lisa Frank, some of the stuff does really well. Hopefully that mug does, but I'll have to let you guys know. So that's the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you on the next one.